Welcome, my friend. Well, the Lord has been speaking to me, impressing upon me a word that I believe is for many of you from Psalm 66, verse 12. And here's what it says. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out to abundance. Or as some translations say, you brought us to a wealthy place, a wealthy place. This is what I've been hearing in my spirit for you. The Lord wants to speak a strong word of encouragement into you today. And that word is he is aiming to bring you into a wealthy place. He already has it planned out. He already has it prepared. Now, listen, when it says you let men ride over our heads under the old covenant, when the Israelites would break covenant with God, the Lord would allow the enemy to come in and rule over them, to punish them, to discipline them. But you and I, my friend, we are living under the new covenant as born again believers. Our sins, past, present, and future, were fully dealt with on the cross of Calvary in their entirety. Okay, so the Lord is not dealing with us in this way today. Whatever is going on in your life, I want to assure you, it is not because God is punishing you for your sins because he already poured out his wrath on Christ. Okay, so this is not how the Lord deals with us today. However, we do go through trials and tribulations. This is what Jesus said in John chapter 16. He said, in this life, you will have trials and tribulations. And that word for tribulations means to press, to afflict. So the Lord wants to speak to those of you today who've been going through a time of pressing, a time of pressing. The enemy has been running over your head. It feels like he has the upper hand, an unfair advantage. It's been painful. I sensed in my spirit for some of you, it has been exhausting. And you're going through a time of fire and water. This is describing something painful, something devastating, a kind of loss. Like, you know, when a house or home burns to the ground, like that kind of loss or floodwaters wipe out an area, that kind of a loss. And what the Lord was putting on my heart is that there are some of you who have felt like your future is uncertain and your hope seems diminished. Your hope seems lost for something good. You're exhausted and you're wearied from the battle. And the Lord has sent me to tell you that he is aiming to bring you out from under this devastation into a wealthy place place. Now, the word for wealthy or abundance in this particular passage is the Hebrew word revaya, revaya, and it means saturation, saturation, and it includes this idea of running over, running over with abundance or an overflow of abundance. It means wealthy. Now, some of the other translations render this part of the passage this way. We went through fire and water, but then you brought us out and refreshed us. We went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place with good things. We went through fire and water, yet you brought us out to super abundance. We went through fire and through water. Thou brought us out into a fruitful place. And then the voice translation renders it this way. We journeyed through dangers, through fire and flood, but you led us finally to a safe place, a land rich and abundant. The Lord sent me here to tell you today that this is your destiny because you're trusting in him. The landscape of your life will soon look very different. It's going to look so different than what you are standing in right now. So don't you dare hang your head down in resignation to the current conditions, because your God is on the move. And right now, 
Listen very carefully to me right now. He is working behind the scenes in ways that you cannot presently detect. There's a lot more going on than what meets the eye, and he fully intends to bring you, my friend, into a wealthy place. So in the meantime, you need to protect your heart. You need to fix your mind on things above. Don't allow the enemy to rob you of the promise of God or listen, or even the joy that God wants to give you right now while you wait. You know, a number of years ago, the Lord gave me a vision of myself standing in the middle of a war zone. In fact, I just shared this at a retreat I was ministering at this last week, and the Lord had reminded me of it while I was ministering, and I believe He wants me to share it with you today. But I was there in this vision, standing in the middle of a war zone, and all around me was danger and gloom and doom. Like I could literally see bombs going off, and and the, it was just a thick clouds and um, thunderstorms, and it just looked scary and dangerous. Yet right where I was standing with the Lord, the sun was shining and the grass was green under my feet. It was like we were in this little patch of grass and the sun, there was like a sunbeam shining right down on us because I was standing with him and he had a firm grasp on my wrist. I was holding his hand but he had a firm grasp on me. And I want you to know today, my friend, that the Lord has a firm grasp on you. He knows that there are moments when your faith fails. He knows it, but he's going to remain faithful to you because he has a firm grasp on on you. And I really feel like the Lord wanted me to read this passage to you out of Amos 9.13. And this is from the message translation, because I believe you can count on this coming. Here's what it says. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look, blessings. I want you to trust him, my friend. I want you to trust him. And I prophesy over you today, based on the authority of this word, the Lord is bringing you into a wealthy place. And as an act of faith, I want you to write in the comments, the Lord is leading me to a wealthy place. The Lord is leading me to a wealthy place. I want you to write that in your journal. I want to encourage you to take Psalm 66, 12 and write it in your journal. This is the word the Lord has given me for you today. And listen, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I want to invite you to do so now so we can stay connected. And if this has been helpful for you today, please be sure to hit that like button below. This is the word of the Lord for you today, my friend. I pray that it has encouraged your heart, not just with words but by the Spirit to bring this prophecy into reality in your life. This is all I have for us today, but I look forward to being back again with you soon. God bless.